Fitch. Summer is just beginning, but some parts of the country are already dealing with record-breaking heat, and the extreme heat can kill. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, has some signs that you're dehydrated. Doc, yeah, what are they? Here's the thing, and people yeah. think, you know, I just get hot, but this is killing people every year. So heat can be very dangerous. As the temperature rises, it can affect your body's ability to cool down. We naturally sweat, right, to lower our body's temperature. But when the humidity is high, the sweat on our skin doesn't evaporate as quickly, and this prevents the body from effectively releasing heat. The really high body temperatures can actually damage our brain and other vital organs, so it's important to take precautions when the temperature really goes up. What outdoor temperatures should we be concerned about? That's an important question. So if you're outside for prolonged periods of time when the temperature is 90 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, that's considered risky. Now, the heat makes it harder for our bodies to maintain a safe internal temperature than the one that we talk about, 98.6 degrees. So keeping ourselves cool, water, water, hydrate, hydrate. Absolutely. By okay. prescriptions, drink at least two liters per day, preferably plain water. That'll keep you hydrated. And please remember this, do not wait until you feel thirsty. Also, avoid caffeine, alcohol, big, big ones, and sugary drinks. This can actually uh, help you lose more body fluid. Fine, avoid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wear, wear lightweight, light-colored clothing, and they can help you to deflect the sun's rays, so it's important. What are the signs of, that you're dehydrated? Yeah, four signs I want people to really look out for. Number one, watch the color of your urine. You want it to be clear to a light yellow. If it's too dark, it's a sign of dehydration. Number two. How bad does your breath smell? Seems like an interesting question, right? But if you're drinking and if you're not drinking enough, your mouth is dry and bacteria can grow more easily. Number three, do a pinch test on the back of your hand. Hold a pinch for five seconds. When you let it go, if the skin stays pinched for longer than five seconds, that's another sign. Guess what? You got to drink more water. And finally, number four, sitting in front of a fan. We always think that's okay, right? But new evidence has shown that when temperatures rise above 95 degrees, an electric fan might actually make you even hotter by blowing hot air on you and make you unable to sweat. So really important to talk about that. And if I have more questions, I'll be on Facebook Live to answer them right now. Especially, I guess, important yeah. to make sure you're looking out for the seniors in the community. Oh, yeah, fans. absolutely. The, the very young and the very old, very susceptible. But you and I can also be. People think they're invincible out there. We're not. If your cheeks get flushed, is that a sign? It can be, okay. but, you know, but, but more, more so the, the tenting of the skin okay. and then all the urine. Okay? All right. Thank you, Doc. Of course. And if you have a question for the good doctor or health concern, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com. Send it to us, Facebook, Twitter. He's on Facebook Live right now. We'll get it to him.